In this tutorial, I will explain how you can program a micro bit to use a PIR sensor. A PIR sensor detects when a person moves close to it by sensing infrared rays emitted by the human body. It detects in a radius, not in a line like the ultrasonic sensor. After you move within a certain range, the PIR sensor will detect you and respond by changing the image shown by the onboard LEDs. You will need a micro bit and a Key Studio 37 in 1 starter kit for this project. A link to details about the kit can be found in the notes. The specific components you will need are a micro bit, the Key Studio micro bit sensor V2 shield, a USB cable, a Key Studio PIR motion sensor, and three DuPont jumper wires. All of these, except the micro bit itself, can be found in the kit. Details of the components can be found in the notes. The PIR sensor will be easy to identify when you search your kit because it is circular and it looks a little bit like a tortoise shell. You may also need a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you have a more modern computer which will enable you to connect up the micro bit. You should connect the components exactly as in this diagram. A link to the diagram can also be found in the notes. Don't be too concerned if the micro bit does not go into the sensor shield at first. You'll need to push it in with a little bit of force to ensure it is correctly in place. You should carefully trace each cable to make sure they are plugged in exactly as required. The S pin should go into S0 on the sensor shield. The positive pin should go to V1 number 1 on the sensor shield. And the negative pin should go to G two on the sensor shield. Remember also that the cable from the computer plugs directly into the micro bit, not the sensor shield. Go to make code and then select new project. We can call it PIR, press enter. Then we're going to use these two blocks. We're going to use on start and forever. So the first thing we want to do as soon as our micro bit is activated, we will make sure the screen is clear. Then we are going to go to logic and we will use if and else and we'll nest this inside forever. Then we will need to go to advanced because we are using the sensor shield. We're using pins to run our PIR sensor. So we'll get digital read pin PO. Be careful, these blocks look quite similar. Not digital write, but digital read pin PO. Okay, we'll take that and we'll drop it here for now. Then we go to logic and we want to get equals and we'll just drop it where it says true here. If digital read pin PO is equal to one. Okay, then we will go to basic and we will get the onboard LEDs. We can duplicate this because we're gonna use the same one down here. We're just gonna make two different images, whatever image doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put a big heart and a small heart. Okay, and finally, just like that, our program is pretty much completed. So then we are ready to download it and to add it to our micro bit. The PIR sensor should detect when you approach and change the image as you get within a certain range. If your PIR sensor does not function like this, there are a few things you can try. Make sure you have connected all three cables to exactly the right pins on the sensor shield. Double check the program to make sure you have chosen all the correct blocks. You can find all the details of this project at the link to the Key Studio wiki below. It is Project 16, Someone Comes.